Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna to look at Rise from Sean Scott. Uh, what is it? Basically, it's a torn and restored soda can. Uh, you show the spectator a crushed soda can that you destroyed underneath your mighty foot and then uh, laying it down on the ground and then you are able to restore it by kind of going backwards in time. You smash your foot down on it one more time and when you remove your foot, the can is completely healed. You're able to give the can out for inspection and the spectator can even open it and drink from it. You want to see what it looks like? This is it. This is high energy, high impact magic. Welcome to Rise. All right, so that was Sean Scott. You might remember he did Key, he did Factory Line, he did Render. Uh, this is an effect called Rise, and he is releasing this to the good people down at Murphy's Magic Supplies. All right, so just a couple of questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, and the first of which is, what is in the box? Actually, there's two boxes. <laughs> uh, you're gonna get this white box, it simply says Rise by Sean Scott, and then within that box, there's this box, which is a really cool hard shelled cardboard, uh, very exploded looking, men's cologne looking type box. It's got a really cool lid on top, and then uh, within the box, there is your gimmick, or we'll call it a rig, and uh, your download code that you'll need to watch the video. Is it what I thought? It's exactly what I thought. Uh, when you watch the video, you kind of come up with your, maybe your own explanation as to what it could be, and uh, I wasn't surprised at all to see uh, what the reveal or the secret was, but I will say that with the quality of the device that you're getting, I think that's kind of where the surprise comes from. Uh, this is a hundred dollar trick, and so you're not just getting some plastic or cardboard or some sort of rinky-dink uh, made gimmick. Uh, this thing is precision made, it's metal, it's uh, gonna last you forever, and so I think that's where the kind of surprise comes from with Rise. All right, so how are the angles? Uh, the angles are specific. Uh, this is an angle sensitive trick. It's even kind of a force perspective trick. So you will need to check your environments very carefully. You'll have to pick those environments. And I would think it would have to be an environment that would make sense. Uh, I don't see you picking out a crush can and showing it off at church and saying, hey, look at this crush can. <laughs> I, I think it would be more natural to do maybe in a break room or in a cafeteria or someplace maybe where you just had your lunch or uh, some setting like that. I think you'll also need to be wary of the floor, the surface that you're working on just to see about ambient noise and maybe uh, echoiness. So there are some angle issues, there are some sensitive uh, perspective issues, and so those definitely need to be considered. Can it be inspected? That's the whole beauty behind this trick. At the end of this, you're able to take that can of Red Bull, hand it to a spectator, they pop it, they can drink from it, and yes, he does even offer you a signed can solution. All right, so what's the overall quality and production value of the video? Uh, it's perfect, it's shot in HD, uh, everything is beautifully shot, uh, there's really cool environments. Uh, Sean Scott speaks to the camera. You see him. He gives you lots of tips, lots of advice. There's an hour and 10 minutes worth of instruction on this. 
So uh, as to teaching, uh, he certainly covers all the bases. You're not gonna walk away from this feeling like, I don't know what to do. I think Sean's covering everything you need to know. He even goes over a, a couple of tips that if you were gonna perform this on video, uh, which I think is great because some editions, they perform on video, and so Sean gives you his tips for that as well. Is it well made? Hey, like I said at the beginning, it's made out of metal. It's a precision made gimmick. Uh, you take care of this, it's gonna last you forever. So how much practice does it require? Uh, I think the practice for this relies most on timing. Uh, this is a very time sensitive effect. Uh, everything's happening in kind of a rhythm. Your foot goes down, your foot comes up, the crushed can is gone, the full can is there. All of that needs to kind of happen in this kind of beat. And so I think the practice is gonna be you just getting used to the utility and the flow of the routine. How much setup and reset is there? Uh, I think it's pretty obvious that there is a load, and if you choose to give the can away, you'll need a new can every time you perform this trick. All right, so what are the positives to this? Positives to this is, like I said, this is a great video. It gives you an hour and 10 minutes of instructions. You're definitely giving all the tips and advice and handling I think it could give you. Tons of content, a great trick for video. I think this trick works really well. Uh, on YouTube or in a video, I think uh, it'll go really far. Uh, it takes the kind of uh, old uh, healed and sealed trick kind of the, to the next level. If you're not familiar with healed and sealed, you might want to check that out from Anders Modem. Negatives, negatives to this is uh, uh, he shows you this trick with a can of Red Bull. I have seen smaller soda cans. Like there are those kind of mini Coke cans and so I'd be curious to see if they were the same size. Uh, right now though, he's only showing you this with a can of Red Bull. I've never even drank Red Bull, so I don't know how what believable it would be coming from me because I think people know that I don't drink Red Bull. Uh, but it does require that size of a soda can and it cannot be adjusted for larger sizes. Other negatives to this, uh, angle issues, especially rear angles. If you're doing this at a cafeteria or someplace where there's a, a large crowd like at a mall or outside on the street, um, people who are behind you or your definite like rear side views would see everything and so you'll have to be wary of that as well. All right, so is it worth your money? It's a hundred bucks, it's a hundred bucks. But like I said, you're getting a precision made gimmick. It's gonna last you forever. If this is something that you would do in your street magic routine, I think you're definitely gonna to wanna to shell out the $100 or save up for it to purchase this. Who would like this? So street magicians for sure. I think people that were um, out maybe at a restaurant or a club, I think you wanna make sure that your spectators are standing um, because you're pulled away uh, and they would need to look over their table if they were seated. And so uh, think about where you would perform this and see if it would be right for you. All right, so that is my review for Rise from Sean Scott and Murphy's Magic. We'd like to thank the people down at Murphy's Magic for providing this for us so that we could review it for you. If you'd like to purchase your own, you can find it at your favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks, bye.